These women have unrealistic expectations, guys. It's not your fault necessarily. So let's go ahead and talk about it. My name's Brian. This is a channel about red pill mentality, improving yourself, working out, becoming more financially free, and understanding the psychology of women and some of my different experiences throughout the years. So what we're running into more and more, and isn't just me saying it, it isn't just other men saying it, a lot of women have noticed it as well that a lot of these women just have such unrealistic expectations and if they list it out on paper what they want, they want a guy with a degree, they want a guy that's six foot, they want a guy that's athletic, they want a guy who's outdoors, they want a guy that can work with his hands, all this kind of stuff, then maybe that would even match you if they put it down on paper but then they don't end up going for you. And not only do they not go for you, they don't go for me, they don't go for five other guys, 10 other guys that meet that criteria. So it's kind of funny. And when you see it happen multi, you know, to, to you and then multiple other guys, then it's kind of like you know that she's just, she's got issues. And I'm seeing a lot of women out there that, honestly have psychological issues. They're psychopaths in training, to be honest with you. And um, and I know I'm going to have a lot of people in the comment section and everything. There's going to be women in, that are going to jump in here and just say, well, that's just ridiculous. It's you. You can't find a woman. There's a problem with you. And um, that's just simply not the case. And I'll tell you a few stories here coming up. But a lot of times, um, you know, women are you know, extremely stressed out and tired. So are men, you know, they're going to work, they're working long hours, especially in North America. Uh, people are working long hours. They don't really have much vacation or any vacation time. They're financially stressed out and um, they don't have a very good balance in their life. And it's leading to psychological issues for both men and women. So uh, you see a lot of these single women out there and let's just say that they don't have kids they're single and they're between the age of, you know, 25 and 30, let's say. Um, and you would sit there and think, well, okay, well, why are they single? Did they just recently get out of a relationship or, you know, what's kind of going on? Um, and, and sometimes that may be the case. And, you know, but then there's other times where it's just like they're eternally single. They're eternally single. And I've even seen women that get, you know, into their mid 30s and then their goals are to, you know, settle down and have, have kids. And I don't really like that term, like settle down, um, you know, but find a guy to have kids with and all that kind of stuff. But you could literally present them 20 or 30 guys. And those guys could be a trillionaire space cowboy. Um, I know on the screenshot here, I got billionaire space cowboy, but that's just not enough these days, guys. You got to have an eight pack, not a six pack. You got to be a trillionaire, not a billionaire. And, um, got to be a movie star and, you know, you got to be a professional athlete. You can't be just on the 40 man roster. You got to be, you can't even just be a starter. You got to be a future hall of famer, you know, or they're just going to next you. So, uh, it's just, it's honestly pretty unreal, the expectations and, um, you know, to give one example, for instance, there was a situation where I was actually playing volleyball and there was this chick that was, you know, pretty you know, pretty good shape, pretty hot, pretty athletic. Uh, it seemed like she had a lot going for, she had a college degree, all these kind of things. And then, um, just kind of the vibes that she gave off were that she was like laying the breadcrumbs, you know, wanting, you know, to, for me and maybe some of my friends to kind of ask her out, go out to the bars or something like that, um, after volleyball. And, um, you know, it was like, the thing was, is I saw my one friend who's about six foot three and a half, six four, athletic. He was a college basketball player, um, good looking guy, no homo. And, um, you know, he asked her to get a drink. She's like, no, I have to work tomorrow, which this is a common thing. You have to understand that women make excuses all the time. It's endless excuses, endless excuses. Guys rally, women make excuses. And sometimes you shouldn't even give them a three strikes and they're out policy on the excuses. 
sometimes girls make one excuse to me. You know, like one time I had a girl that she said, well, if I get home and I'm not tired, then maybe we can go do this. And I said, I don't survive on maybes. You know, you got to shut these girls down. And then guess what? She's following my Instagram stories to the end of time. You know, so it's like she missed her chance. I wouldn't hang out with her. And I know I'm going to have some white knights and some women that are going to comment in the section below. And they're going to be like, oh, whatever. You're just being mean to women. You can't get women. And, you know, and that, that's just simply not the issue. So back to the volleyball story. So my one friend, athletic basketball player guy, you know, six-pack abs, you know, it, college athlete, college degree, blah, 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 so on and so forth. She says, oh, no, I have to work tomorrow. So he gets shot, shot down. Then in another situation, me and one of my other friends, both of us, you know, athletic guys, college degrees, all this kind of stuff. You know, basically, she won't go out to hang out with us. And she had, like, these lame excuses and everything. And I was, you know, and I just kind of just honestly kind of, you know, made a joke of it, but kind of put her down. I was just like, yeah, you better get to bed. You're getting kind of old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, sometimes you got to make a joke, kind of throw it back in their face, and then you're going to go anyway because whatever they're doing or why they don't want to kind of come out and hang out and stuff like that, that's their issue. But you just see it with some of these girls that nobody's good enough. Nobody is good enough. It doesn't matter if, um, you know, you're financially free, you're athletic, college degrees, smart, good looking, funny, all these things that they would list on a list and you're still not good enough. They'll literally next you or just, you know, and then the next time you turn around, you know, suddenly they're like, you know, hanging out with some quasi bad boy. And we're not talking about, you know, an actual bad boy who's like, riding wheelies on a crotch rocket and jumping off 80 foot cliffs and doing gainers, you know, triple gainers off an 80 footer or something like that. We're talking about, you know, a guy with like, you know, shitty tattoos or something that he got when he was drunk. He's doing meth, has rotten teeth and like smoke cigarettes or something like that. And then, um, and then you're seeing her with him and you're like, okay, this dude's not alpha. He's just kind of like white trash or something. But um, you see that kind of thing. And that didn't necessarily happen with this girl from volleyball, but just one example, I've kind of seen that a lot. And it's just like, mm, okay. Um, so psychologically, a lot of these girls don't seem to make any sense. And you as guys, me as a guy, like we just don't get caught up on it. Um, because when I was like, especially in college, I would really get caught up on this kind of stuff and get, you know, caught up on a particular girl. Why doesn't she like me? Why didn't this? You've got to cast a large net. you got to talk to a lot of girls. That girl doesn't want to hang out, whatever. You're you're kind of putting out the feelers. You're, you're planting the seeds out there for, you know, 10, 15, 20 girls through the apps, in person, on Instagram, all these kind of things. you got to cast a large net. I mean, essentially like me and my friends who, you know, athletic guys, college degrees, you know, all these kind of things, we get rejected. You know, we get ghosted literally on a weekly basis. The ghosting issue, the catfishing issue, um, you know, all this stuff is like an epidemic these days. There's a single mom epidemic. There's a dog mom epidemic. You know, there's all these epidemics, guys. So I know what you're thinking in some of these situations. You're thinking, what's wrong with me? Like, um, it is... A lot of times, not you. You just can't get focused on some of these girls because they are not, a lot of times, in a right, right state of mind. And you just got to kind of forget about them. Don't pay too much attention to them. Connect to them on Instagram. Make them follow your stories to the end of time. You know, move on. Maybe they come back around when they're, you know, feeling a little bit better mentally or whatever. So, you know, that's my advice. But I'm just seeing it so many times, more and more so. And also, it depends where you're at geographically. There are certain states, if you're in the Midwest, Indiana, Ohio, Illinois, Michigan, these kind of places, these girls think they are way hotter than they are. And you won't really realize that until you get out of there. Go to Arizona, go to California, go to Florida. If you're in Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, Michigan, Illinois, these, these sort of places... You are better off 
probably just busting a mission, driving down to Florida and hanging out there for a couple weeks, and you'll probably have more success with women down there than you're going to have in Indiana. So uh, that has been my experience. Sometimes it is literally not worth talking to a lot of these women. And let's just say, let's just pretend, you know, you've got a lot of things going for you. Let's just pretend you rate yourself an eight or a nine, you know, on a hotness scale out of 10 or something like that. And some of these girls are literally, let's say they're 5.5s or 6s, and they'll act like that you're the problem. You know, me and my buddy, we were at Lake Tahoe. He matches this girl on Tinder. She had a friend. We meet up with him. We're on the beach. We're chilling. We're talking. We're having some beers. And um, this girl was 50 pounds overweight of what she looked like in the pictures. You know, one of these, you know, just heavy... Um, low-level catfish essentially and ultimately we were potentially going to hang out with them later that night she unmatched him on tinder as if he was the problem and she was 50 pounds heavier than her pictures so these women they almost act like you're the problem you're the problem she was a catfish and but no he was the problem in her mind you know they won't take any responsibility and um you know they just have a warped sense of what they have to offer in something and then they want you to drive they want you to pay for everything you know so guys don't get chipped out on it it's happening to all of us and again i know i'm gonna have some of the beta males the white knights coming in here saying oh i just don't know how to get girls and stuff no like i've had i've had plenty of successes with women of all different backgrounds and you know different ages and stuff in all different parts of the country and other parts of the world and stuff like that it's not um you know isn't it like i'm some bitter kind of guy and i'm like in some sort of rage or anything like that i'm making this video just to reach out to you guys and pretty much tell you that a lot of this stuff is not necessarily your fault just don't focus in too much so anyway guys that's the video what do you guys think? What's some situations where you guys have ran into women with like unrealistic expectations? And, um, you know, I, what do you guys think? Is this situation going to get worse? Personally, I don't see it getting any better. I think we're going to be dealing with this pretty much for the rest of our lives. So anyway, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Really need to pump up the subscribership and pump up these views. Thank you for watching, guys. See you later.